In this video, we're going to look at the Auto Shapes tool along with Edit Free Transform as a means for changing the size and the angle of uh, text, clip art, uh, or objects. Uh, first thing, I'll go to File, New, a New Canvas, 800 by 800 pixels, RGB. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change the color of my canvas. Okay, I'll go to my text tool. I'm just going to create some random text here. And I'll just, it's a little big. So let's maybe 125. Uh, let's see what I got here. That's another layer, but that's okay. Okay, maybe I'll make that a little bit smaller. Okay, and I actually only created an extra layer here. I'm going to right click on that and go to it delete layer. All right. So let's put a, uh, this is review, but a, a border around the word free. Look stroke. Let's see, inside, no, outs, outside. And I'll make it like 10. Okay. So here I have the word free. And let's look at free transform first. Free transform is a way to change the size of an object. You can do that proportionally, meaning that things will adjust uh, vertically and horizontally together or height and width together, uh, which is what I recommend or is recommended for free transforming most, most things. Or you can free transform freehand. Uh, freehand free transform is used when you don't use the shift key. Uh, and uh, say it can be a little bit more dangerous but you will lose can lose some of the uh, the features of the object where as opposed to when you hold the shift key down you can do it uniformly uh, and get a little bit nicer uh, result so I'm gonna go to edit I'm gonna make sure that this text is uh, highlighted I'm gonna go to edit free transform you're gonna notice a border shows up around the word free now I'm gonna do it without the shift key uh, to give you to show you what we can do we can make this bigger we can make it smaller and you can see I'm going um, I'm squ squeezing it uh, tight or I'm changing the width and here I'm changing the height I'm not changing them together uh, yeah, I'm changing them separately and if I decide that that's that's how I want it I need to apply it so I go over here and click any tool I'll click this top tool and hit apply now as with anything else if I don't like it I can go to edit uh, and step backward and bring it back to where it was. Now, in order to do a uniform tree free transform uh, or a proportional one, where meaning when I adjust it, height, width will follow along, I go to do the same thing. I go to edit, I go to free transform, but now I hold my shift key down. Now, you can't see it, but my shift key is held down and I go to a corner. Doesn't matter which corner, I go to any corner. And now, when I do this, you can see it. Uh, it resizes a little bit more nicely uh, vertically and horizontally even or proportionately and I'm going to click over here to apply it hit apply and then I'll move it all right and then I'll go to edit free transform again hold the shift key down I'll bring it back to about close to where it was remember to edit text I need to be on that text uh, and I can go to my text tool double click if I want to change the color oh, I want to change the color I can I'll do that here okay so the nice thing about free transforming text is that uh, the days of having to, to try to figure out exactly what size uh, text you want whether it was 50 point or 100 point are, are behind because we can uh, when we hold the shift key we can do it proportionally and and make it get it to our exact uh, cri meet our exact criteria uh, in a very short period of time okay next let's look at the auto shape tool if you go uh, go to beneath the text tool you'll see uh, depends what tool is used last but here it looks like a rectangle it's two tools underneath the type tool or the text tool you'll see an auto shape tool and here we can click on any of these and I'll do uh, I'll do just a couple here uh, and show you that you can cr quickly create um, auto shapes or uh, shapes that uh, that you have some jurisdiction over so uh, I'll 
choose the ellipse tool and then I'll go and choose the color red and I'll click OK and I'll have a, a crosshair here. I'll take that crosshair and I'll start drawing and you can see I can get it to almost a perfect circle. I could get it to um, you know more like uh, more like an oval and when I let go it'll create that shape. Okay. Next I can put a border around that. I can go to edit. Oops. I can click should be able to here. Click on the object just like we did with the text. Click on blending options and I can, you know, put it inside, outside, or a center border on that. I can make it nice and big. And click OK. So I just put a border on that like I put a border on text. Uh, so I can move that around if I'm on top of it. And I'm going to select my text and get my move tool. And now here you can see uh, that I have two layers. I have my text layer and I have my shape layer. And let me move my shape layer up a little bit. I'll, I'll highlight it and move it up. And here's my text layer. But I want to move this word free on top of the circle and I can't do that. That's because the word free falls underneath the layer that is, uh, that is the shape. So all I have to do is go over here on the layer that says free, hold my left mouse button down, drag it over top. Sometimes it's stubborn, you may have to try it a couple times. But now that that layer is on top, when I move it over top, I can put it right in the circle. Okay. The next thing that Free Transform does is it can change the angle or completely uh, uh, do a 360 degree rotation of not only text, uh, but objects and clip art. And we'll do clip art later. So I'm going to go back into Edit, Free Transform. And instead of resizing this, like we've done, I'm going to leave that go. I'm going to go to this outside edge, and you'll notice a little double-sided arrow here versus this double-sided arrow. This one's kind of curved. And if I hold my left mouse button down, I can rotate this uh, you know, 360 degrees. And when I like where it is, I can just go over here and apply it. Now, how do I do that again? Is edit free transform as in before and I just go to the far outside edge I could even go out here as long as I have that double sided arrow that's got a bend in it I can put that on an angle okay so let's let's do one more uh, example here of an auto shape and free transforming text so I'll grab my text tool and I'll click white again and I'll use a different font this time Okay, I'll, oops, I've changed, I just changed that one. I want to use this for this one. Okay, and now I'll change my text. Okay, I'll change the color to white. And make this a little bit smaller, let's say like 75, how that's going to do. Okay, and I'll type my name is. All right. And I'll click over on here to apply it. And now I'll right click on my name is. I'm going to put a little border around that. That's probably pretty good right there. All right. And I can take that and move it. And I'm going to go back over to my auto shapes. I did an ellipse before, which is how I created the circle. This time I'm going to choose a rounded rectangle. I'm going to choose a color like, uh, like a yellow. And I, you can see the shape I'm drawing here now is a little bit different shape and it uh, automatically put that border on it. If I didn't want that border, I could click on stroke, get rid of the border altogether, just type zero, and oh, they want me to have a border of at least one on there, so you can't bring it to zero. But I like that border, I'll, I'll keep it at 20, or maybe about 15, okay. So I want to move this on to uh, excuse me, the, the text my name is onto the label. And notice I have the same problem. The problem is that this layer, my name is, is behind the shape. So I'll do the same thing. I'll grab a hold of my name is. You can see it turns to a fist. I'll drag it up on top and put my name is down here. I'll go back into my text tool and I'll change my, whoops, 
I'll go to my text tool. I'm going to click here. Change the color of my font to black. And maybe make it a little bit smaller. And type my name. Click over here to apply it. I'm going to go to blending options. Maybe I'll put a, a white border around that. Let's see how that looks. Looks okay. And maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, now, to, to look at the free transform again one last time, here's the auto shape, and text is nothing new. I'm going to make sure I'm on the layer that I want. So I'm on my name. I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform, and I get the box. The box shows up around it. And you know you're ready to free transform. Now you can free transform it without holding the Shift key, totally freehand. And I could apply that. Or I could edit, step backward, go to edit, free transform. And what I recommend is holding the shift key down, going to a corner, and you can do it proportionally. Right? So everything is in line and unison, horizontal and vertical. The growth is, is equal. And that's usually your best bet. Uh, okay, that looks good. I'm going to click here to apply it. It's going to ask me if I want to apply, and I hit apply. And uh, I can move it over here. Uh, one last thing, remember, you can do with Free Transform is make sure you're on the layer that you want to Free Transform. Go to Edit, Free Transform. Now, rather than change the size of it, I can go to this outside edge, and you can see this bent double-sided arrow. I can turn this thing 360 degrees. And same thing. Click on any tool and apply it, and then I'll just move it up. So in this video, we looked at uh, the auto shape. We looked at borders around text. Uh, and using free transform to change the size of text, both freehand and proportionately. And we looked at free transform as a means to rotate text. Uh, in a later video, we'll look at free transform as a, as a means to do the same thing with clip art. Change its size, freehand or proportionally, and also uh, change the, uh, the positioning or the angle of it.